Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. So today, as the title suggests, we are going to be kind of looking at how everything went for the month of January. This is going to be a quick little check in in my Midori Hibino planner. Now, if you're not familiar, this is definitely not a very mainstream talked about planner in the planning community. I personally fell in love with it just based on like how minimalistic it looks. We can do a, like a whole separate video on the pros and cons of why I chose it and whatnot. But for today, I just thought that we would do a quick little check-in, how things are going, what is really working, what is something that I'm kind of planning on making changes to. So if you wanted to see how everything went for the month of January in my Midori Hibino planner, then just stay tuned because you're in absolutely in the right place. And of course, if we've never met, this is our first time meeting. My name is Meshi. I'm the person behind the line plans. We chat a couple of times a week on this channel. Anything, everything, minimalist planning, journaling, fountain pens, all of the things. So if you love all of those things and you want to kind of get out of consumerism and more just learn how to use the things that you have and actually enjoy them, then consider subscribing because that's, that's our jam here. Okay, let's just let's just get started. A um, couple of things to mention. My coffee, this one is just a straight up vanilla uh, latte and we brewed it at home. It's not a takeout, which is something that I've been really working on. And I will actually talk to you about this more in my upcoming videos of what I'm kind of planning on doing for February, but homemade, love it leave it alone. Um, the candles, this one is more of a winter vibe. And then this one, it's called ugly Christmas sweater. So it's sort of like a mix of, it's like a mix of like these beautiful citrusy and like floral scents kind of combined together. I absolutely love it. And I, you know, chuckle every single time when I look at the name. Okay. Let's just dive in. Let's get you guys zoomed in just a little bit. Um, grab your beverage if you haven't had a chance to yet. So one thing I will mention right off the bat is one thing that I would love to absolutely change that I don't have access to just yet, or that I haven't really fully looked into yet is a cover. Now this one is sort of like this fake leather cover. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we have color corrected just a little bit. So it's like this fake leather cover and it's fine. Um, this does not really leave my desk, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But one thing that I would love to kind of look into for the upcoming months as I'm using this and I'm breaking it in is to get like a clear cover for it. And I know that a couple of people on Etsy already have it. I would love it if Midori made one because the Midori cover that is currently available, because it's so chunky, it does not fit. So let's just open her up. So as you can tell, um, within the month of January, I just kind of did some minimal like decor as far as like the monthly as set up. I honestly, I really, really, really love like how everything is kind of printed with this um, brown ink and like these muted colors. It just, I don't know, there's something really special about it. Um, for February, I haven't really fully set it up just yet, only because I, I kind of wanted to, like I just added like two little sticky notes and I marked when our paydays are. But beyond that, I haven't really done too, too much to the monthlies just yet. So that will happen in a separate, separate little video. And then from the monthlies, we move straight into the dailies. Now we kind of, st one thing to note is that you actually get two pages per day. And it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how I wanted to kind of set things up, what I really wanted to do with it. Do I want like lots of writing? Do I want, so like it, it just took me a little bit to kind of get situated of how I really wanted to kind of create the layout. But essentially what I landed on is on the left hand side of the page, we have, we have obviously the agenda. Then I set this section up with either my inbox and I was using the bottom section here for basically for like if I was doing a tarot reading or like what I wanted to review. And then the opposite side of the, the page, I would add like a decor piece of some sort, maybe a meal plan and then lots of reflections. So this is very much becoming more of a mindfulness based um, planners. It's like planner slash journal. I didn't want it to become too, too redundant because I also have the Hobonichi Hon. So I'm already journaling there. So therefore it didn't really make sense for me to like fully journal in this one. 
but we're getting there. I was also experimenting with having this small little section divided here where I can just write down like just random ideas that I would get during the day, almost like a brain dump. Um, definitely experimented with pens. So this one is, I believe this is with a ballpoint pen. I think this is actually with a uh, Sarasa. I like it, but I don't like it. I don't know. Like I get really nice results with the Sarasas and they are like my bride and I like just, you know, tried and true, but I don't know. Like there are times when I'm just like, I'm really not into this look. You know what I mean? Like I love my fountain pens far too much. I didn't really have too many days when I was skipping something unless it was like on the weekend and there's definitely days when I didn't really add too many decor like here I added one tiny little sticker and that's totally fine. <laughs> I added a quick little note because as it's Sunday I generally don't really reach for my planner and then I started like cutting out like the daily pages so this is my little tearaway um, daily calendar so I started kind of like tearing out the pieces and then just kind of gluing them in which I really love because then it's it's something different every day so this is starting to kind of fall into place I'm definitely using my fountain pens and I'm a lot happier with it this was actually with my medium fine nib Sarasa so this one is the one that I was using quite a bit it's a it it writes like a fine like if you know not Sarasa oh my gosh what am I talking about this is a sailor pen this has been the collaboration with Yoseka and then continuing on with the little decor pieces that are like the decor was actually coming literally from this which is really cool so I wanted to I don't do that every day but I wanted to at least start incorporating it I also like the faint line where it's not so obvious and then I'm kind of playing around with color coordinating. It doesn't always work out but sometimes it does. Using a thicker pen here, I'm not sure if I'm like really feeling that. I think that was actually with my Ferris wheel press. And I experimented with stamps and I don't mind the stamps. They are okay but um, I don't use, like that's the thing that I don't just, it's not one of those things where I reach for all the time. Love this. If I could buy more of these PET tapes, I absolutely would. I really, really love this. It's just, I don't know, for some reason, like this corner here, it becomes like this, you know, almost immediate invitation to just add some sort of a decor piece there. Love this. I love that I, so I started doing this, some, this new thing. And like, as you can tell, oh, I keep ruining my nails. Uh, I started doing this, let's see around here. So around the 8th of January, I started doing this thing called observations today. And then it kind of evolved to 10 interesting things today. So I would like literally list out 10 interesting things or observations that I made almost like a mindfulness practice where I really took the time to observe or like a realization that I had or something that I didn't know that I kind of realized that that's oh wow that's that's how that works so I started kind of listing things out and sometimes it was as simple as hey in this pen this ink really works as as juvenile as that sounds but you know if you're if you're a planner you know love this color actually this is in my newest sailor pens. So this was actually my Christmas gift. And this is the M Moroccan mint antique uh, collection. I love that there is the, the orange or I guess, here we go. Maybe it's focusing now. Um, I love the green and, and the, the burnt orange color and with collaboration with the white. And then the color here works really, really well. Hopefully the, the camera is picking it up. I don't have my regular lights, so we're just making do with what we have. Again, the 10 things and it's, it's still like really working for me. I try to keep up with it as much as possible. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you are enjoying videos like this, where we're kind of going through and doing a quick little flip through, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time we do another flip through video, just, just in case you haven't had a chance to just yet. Okay, moving right along.
And some days, like, I just added just very minimal decor, and some days I didn't. And then some days I honestly, I didn't even really fill it out. Like usually like um, if it's a Wednesday or if it's a Sunday, I don't necessarily reach too much for my planner because I end up really working on the house instead. I skipped a full, I think a full weekend here. And I'm back at it on Monday. Um, went back and forth with the pen. I will talk about this later on in another video, but basically this pen was actually the the other collaboration Sailor has. I love this pen, but I find that in here, the the ink was just not flowing as well. I had the London Toolbars Joey loaded in here, and I had such a hard time with it. It was constantly skipping. So I ended up basically just switching out the pen completely. And I went with the Kuwaiko Sport. And as you can tell, it writes totally differently in case you can see it. Here you go. So you can kind of tell like the ink flows a lot easier here versus what we have here. So like there was a bit of a struggle here for a little while. And then lots of writing here. I actually made this more of a mindfulness practice where I wrote down not only how I feel, but then the 10 interesting things that happen, which again, I actually really like this. I don't feel that this spread is really missing anything. I love the minimalist look to it, but yet I can kind of write out my thoughts the way I want. 10 interesting things, I made it to number three and that's totally fine. <laughs> here I made it to number six. So some days I just, I didn't have that much to say. Again, we skipped the Saturday, back at it for Sunday where there was a lot more reflections and this time it was reflection of the entire week. And I think that I'm actually going to maintain this practice because it has been so great to kind of reflect and look back and really write down what my wins were for the week rather than just focus on this was terrible this is a re so instead of recapping my weeks i started to put more of a mental focus on really capturing what was where were the wins where i was initially having a hard time whether it was how I was feeling or just like the obstacles that kind of came up during the week and then how I overcome that. Because I think that that's very important to kind of take note of whenever you're like reflecting. Um, and then here we are with a Monday. Again, we, I think we skipped a couple of days here. Not too much. I think we skipped one day. And then we welcomed February and here's the second not much to write but i really like again like the big block letters that's really working for me i really love that i started spacing things out in the inbox a little bit more i'm not sure if you can tell so here this is really working well for me where things are a bit more spaced out i started spacing things out here as well which is really great And then here, moving on, I love this. I love how like by the time we made it to reflections, it actually became a gratitude practice. And I love how I added like the little notes of what that actual section really represents. So that's really working for me. And then here's Sunday, which I can just backlog. And then here we are as of today, which really I need to kind of finish up. So this is where we're at as far as the full month of January, we skipped a few days, but for the most part, we made it work. I love a lot about this planner. I love the layout. And as I'm moving further and further into the planner, I'm finding that it's easier to kind of like close that gap. As you can tell, it's still not, it's still not fully laying flat, but you can 100% make it work, even if you're a lefty like me. So that's really working for me. I really like that I can write enough things here on the left hand side of the column. Um, one thing I would like to kind of change moving into February is to not experiment too much with color, stay within the muted, like muted neutrals. Um, and if anything, what I would love to ultimately change is the way I write and the, the categories that I write about shift more towards the focus of the month. So this month, the focus of the month will be sustainability. 
I wanted to really place a focus on how can we make practices that are, you know, create more sustainability. So I want to add like a prompt for each day for the month of February where I kind of apply that practice or I'm reminding myself of how to kind of incorporate that into my lifestyle. So I'm hoping to kind of theme up each of my months and then that way that can create like a brand new prompt and it's not necessarily a journal prompt but it's a prompt that I want to kind of pay attention to. So the same way that we would kind of keep track of astrology or like a tarot reading. And I think that like anything astrological or like tarot related or like spiritual spirituality related practices, I still would like to leave space for it here. I would also like to leave space here for either that or for any books that I'm reading that is related to personal growth. So I don't necessarily want to treat this like it's like a book journal i want to really treat this like it's like my personal growth tool that also helps me keep track of my schedule on a daily basis and it also allows me to kind of process my thoughts so i really like the space arrangement i thought i would actually hate it like i was a little bit nervous because there's just so many pages and but i mean it's such a small little handy little book that honestly i kind of like that it's so minimal and i can keep track of things if i want to but i don't feel too much of a pressure because it's so small. So I don't know. This is basically all I wanted to show you so far for the month of January. I will check in with you guys for the month of February, see how everything went. We'll do a quick little uh, flip through. And of course, if you enjoy videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Basically, anything and everything that I mentioned within this video, if you're wondering about where I got my pen, where I got the planner, where you can get your hands on this planner, because most places are actually sold out currently. So if you're wondering about all of that, I'll do my best to kind of link it in the description box so you can check that out. Question of the day though, please let me know in the comment section. Have you tried the Hibino from Midori? And would you try this, um, the two page per day layout? Or do you find that it would be too much for you? Comment below, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And this is all I have for you. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe, you can support the channel. And in the meanwhile, just keep planning, journaling, doing all the things. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.